Dylan, talk to us about uh, the confidence you're feeling right now coming off a terrific performance uh, in Orlando. Obviously couldn't get all three points, but talk to us about how you're feeling uh, based on, on that performance. Yeah, first, definitely disappointed we didn't get all three points. Um, yeah, I think kind of the, it felt like one of those games where, where, you, where we lost, but uh, I think on the flip side, we're, we're, we're lucky to get away with one point. Um, I think anytime you go away in this, in this league, uh, get, getting a point on the road is, is a huge thing. So I'm um, lucky to get, not lucky, but I think happy to, to be away with one point there, but um, definitely looking forward to, to getting three. And um, I think same, same message this weekend, looking for three points. But uh, personally, yeah, I feel good. Um, looking to always take pride defensively first and then seeing if, if I could help in the attack. So um, feel feeling a lot more confident. Um, so hopefully could continue it going this weekend. Thanks for anything. Uh, Dylan, Cincinnati has been a team that's kind of haunted uh, the Red Bulls in recent years, eliminating them the last two years from the playoffs. Is that something that you think about as you enter a week like this in training to prepare? Um, not necessarily think about, but it's, it's definitely in the back of our heads. Um, and yeah, it's a good point. They, they've had our numbers the past couple of years. Um, certainly last year playoffs and uh, the Open Cup um, as well. Uh, so in those knockout games, they, they've definitely had our number. Um, I feel... I feel that second playoff game, we, we were a little unlucky to, to not get away with a win, but um, that's just how it goes sometimes. But uh, but yeah, I think it's definitely in some of the guys back back of their heads, um, knowing that, that that they beat us, you know, the past past few times. I think when we went down there last year um, for that last game, or it was the game they were celebrating their their supporters shield, uh, it was good to take three points there. So so hopefully hopefully go go over there and, and uh, you know steal three points. Thanks, good work. Um, after having almost three points in the bag and then at the end of it just coming back for the point, uh, how do you guys brush it off and go into, the, go into this next game, which is pretty tough, uh, trying not to think about that? Yeah, I think it's pretty easy because, um, you know, with, with a good performance, it's, it's easy to kind of brush off that you didn't get away with, with all three points. But um, at the same time, we're playing well. Um, and I think that, that goes a long way. Um, so just continue to play well. I think, I think guys are feeling good um, in the group. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a, gonna be a tough battle um, this weekend. We know Cincinnati's a great team, uh, former MVP on their team too. So a lot of attention to detail defensively, and then hopefully we can we can get some goals this weekend. Thanks, Eddie Shalom. Dylan, talking about an MVP, uh, talk to us a little bit about the attention the entire defense will have to uh, have to keep uh, Lucho Acosta under control. Yeah, he, he's a great player. I think he, he's very smart. He, he finds spaces that. Not a lot. Of, not a lot of guys can find in this league, um, and just with the ball, he, you know, he creates a lot for them. So, trying to limit him as much as possible this weekend is going to be huge. Um, he, he's obviously going to be finding the ball in, in spaces, but um, you know, just how how little we could could um, you know, make make sure he doesn't doesn't touch the ball as much this weekend. Uh, next, with Daniel Forenstein on two. Hey Dylan, uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Um, what has the coaching staff done to improve your play defensively on the back line, especially as a wing back? Uh, what what type of confidence have they given you uh, to be more uh, aggressive in your defensive play? Yeah, I, I think just confidence, um, knowing that you know the, the three guys we've been playing a back four primarily this year. So I think the three guys to my left, um, just just having trust in, in each other. Um, you know, if one guy makes a mistake, you, you got three guys behind you that that'll make up for it. And not only that, but the but the sixes they they do a whole lot of running. So, um, you know, sometimes they'll cover for us. But yeah, we, we feel good defensively. I think we we always take pride in that here. Um, you know, being being pretty good defensively, and uh, hopefully could uh, could add some goals to to relieve the pressure. But uh, yeah, I'll say that. Go back to Mark. You had some some really good moments feeding Dennis uh, in the game against Orlando. I'm curious what you're seeing from him. He obviously is just still getting accustomed to to being a member of the team and getting his form where it needs to be. Talk to us about the partnership you guys created last week. Yeah, it, it was good. I think we we both you know found each other pretty well that game. Um, like like you said, he, he's starting to get accustomed to it. Um, you know, it's tough being a young kid from a from not, not living in the United States and then moving here, um, I think he's 20. Um, so I could definitely imagine that what that feels like for him. But And then coming to a whole new team with a whole new philosophy, um, and I'm sure it's very stressful. But no, he's doing well. He, he stepped into that role pretty well. Um, hopefully he's, he's just getting started. I think. Um, and yeah, I, I just I messaged him just to stay confident. I think he's got a lot of ability and uh, he's, he's pretty quick too. So hopefully we, we can use that this weekend. 
Uh, we have time for two more questions with Dylan. First, we'll go to Gary on Zoom. Hey, Dylan, during the off season, did you and your brother talk about um, improving your play going to this season? Because it seems that it's really standing out in many of your performances. Just curious to see if uh, he added any pointers uh, going into this last season. No, not necessarily. Um, off season, we, we we probably stay away from each other since we're we're, <laughs> we're together too much here. Um, but no, no, we we both feel pretty good. Um, I, I think it's just a, a testament to the both of us. Uh, you know, we're working hard in the off season and coming back here and, and proving to people that you know we belong to to be on the field. Um, yeah, no, and it's always good to to be alongside your brother. I think we both play with a lot of confidence. Um, I think when we're both out there together, we, we both want to make each other look better. So um, it, it's fun playing next to each other, and it's good.